This is a very expensive bottle of champagne. A bottle of champagne that I intend on opening five minutes before the end of the night. The night being December 31st, or otherwise known as New Year's Eve. I really want to know what it tastes like, but do I deserve a very expensive glass of champagne? It was hectic, but in some cases it was actually chill. To elaborate, it made people stay home from work. On one end of the scale, you had people who were no longer employed, so they had to go home and kind of reevaluate things, whereas you know, on the other end of the scale, people were able to work remotely, so they didn't have to deal with all the added stress of work. Wherever you fall on that scale, I hope that we can all look at 2021 as optimistically and as driven as ever. What I've realized is that the more I have a structure in my life, the more I'm able to get done. So with that said, I've recently removed some excess time-consuming stuff out of my life. And although I don't know how long it's gonna last, I'm pretty dead set on accomplishing my goal. That's a goal of 52 vlogs this year. That doesn't mean one vlog for every week. Just for every week that it exists in the year, I'm gonna have at least one vlog. You see, with all this excess time that I was spending doing that thing, I could be editing vlogs and working towards that thing that I really wanna do in life, which is make great, not good, but great vlogs. What a piece. Just in case you were wondering what the name of this place is, it's called Kite Beach. Here they have like jungle gyms, they got trampolines, they also have a bunch of volleyball courts so you can like play volleyball with all your friends. And of course, it's got a huge beach. The thing about New Year's Eve is that it's kind of like a fresh start. It's a time when people can set down their goals and create new obstacles to preface the upcoming year, whether they're achievable or completely unrealistic. Each new year that passes kind of adds that story of what I want to be whenever I grow up. You see, that growing up process is happening now. And every single day your head leaves the pillow, you're getting another chance to work towards your goals. There's a bunch of like self-help stuff out there, like some books that teach you how to take a five-year plan and turn it into like a five-month plan. But I'm constantly reminded of a quote that Jack Ma said. He said, I told my young people, before 20 years old, be a good student. When you do entrepreneur, just to learn some experience. Before 30 years old, follow somebody. Go to a small company. Normally in a big company, it is good to learn processing. You are a part of a big machine. But when you go to a small company, you learn the passion, you learn the dreams. You learn how to do a lot of things at one, one time. So before 30 years old, it's not which company you go, it's which boss you follow. It's very important. A good boss teaches you differently. From 30 to 40 years old, you have to think very clearly when you're working for yourself. If you really want to be an entrepreneur. When you're 40 to 50 years old, you have to do all the things that you are good at. Don't try to drop into the new area. It's too late. You may be successful, but the rate of dying is too big. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out what it is that I'm actually doing in life. I mean, I know my age, but as life pulls me in so many different directions, I'm still trying to figure out exactly what it is that I'm doing. Of course, I don't care about New Year's Eve in the way that most people do, but I do find it a bit refreshing to be able to reanalyze my goals and pivot around what's happening in the now. So for that, I say Happy New Year. Totally rolled my ankle skateboarding. I learned some tricks, I did some stuff, but uh, it's not like I used to be. Um, but anyways, I think that brings me to the last little point, which is we're not getting any younger. If you can still do stuff, go out there and do it while you can, because one day it's all gonna come to an end. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Click the like button, click subscribe, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Thanks guys, later. but amazing at the same time.